A History of Magic and Witchcraft by Francis T Timbers. Uh, Sabbaths, Satan, and uh, Superstitions in the West. So you get things like the rise of Christianity, uh, witch trials, um, demonology, <laughs> um, Greek and uh, Greek and Roman start, um, flying, um, witch hunts, women being the usual suspects, um, men witches, child witches. Um, Types of accusation, um, types of magic introduced. Um, it discusses it in, in the UK, France, um, the Holy Roman Empire, and a few other places across Europe. And Wicca emerging in the 1960s and 70s. Um, those are just some of the topics uh, that are in this book. Um, you get some primary images, photographs. And it does, overall, this does have some good information and starting points and a decent bibliography. So, um, so the author says like this book grew out of lectures and tutorial discussions on magic and witchcraft that he had, um, been giving over several years in at Trent University at Trent University in Peterborough. Um, so um, like Greek and like the stories of Medea, Circe and Odysseus. Um love magic um heretics cathars waldenesians um the templars like you do get some stories and like um primary sourcing like mentions Cunning, some cunning folk used a magic wand. Wands are, wands were used to look for hidden treasure. Uh, William Lilly um, mentioned. So, yeah. So, primary imagery. So, um, brief things are introduced, um, so, um, yeah, a number of things introduced. If you do want to look further into other, um, certain, th um, things or groups or events, you can, libraries and their internet are, <laughs> are good places to start for, um, research like there's books papers um videos and all that out there so this is a good kind of starting history point to a few different topics um so yeah a history of magic and witchcraft happy readings